Hey everybody, it's Rick and Rob. Welcome back to the Nomad Pastor Podcast. Man, what a great day. Oh, it's an amazing day. It re- <laughs> yeah, it you really know. is. It's been an amazing week for me. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, I can see why. I, yeah. I, I understand why. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, uh, you know this, but I may have got a new sled. Oh, <laughs> Not just any sled, y'all. <laughs> this thing is the, slick. The new Indian Challenger. Oh, I love that 2023. bike. 2023. I love that bike. But I'm adding all the parts to make it a pursuit. And it is nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, so, Rebecca, we're about to spend some money. Yeah. I, Rebecca, I apologize that I let him ride it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so I pull up in the drive. So I'm, I, I cleaned mine up a little bit today. Yeah. Uh, and, and rode over here. Yeah. And I pull up in the driveway. And I was like, wait a minute, there's no 777 on the back of those saddlebags. That's an Indian! <laughs> what did he do? He did it! He I pulled the it. trigger. I did it. I pulled the trigger. Oh, we've been talking about it for a, a month or so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for a long time. Right? Yeah. I mean, and, and it's completely stock right now. And, like, next week I'll go and I'll get the bars and pipes and the kit yeah. lead. And, you know, it'll it'll increase by, like, 10 horsepower. Man, it's got a great day. I mean, it's just... Sick and wrong. It's a beast. Love it. Uh, yeah. I, I, look, I just rode it. I rode it about a mile <laughs> here in the neighborhood and absolutely fell in love with this motorcycle. I, and, and consequently, I've been I've been kind of looking at them, you know, I'm looking at the Challenger. and I, I think to some extent everybody kind of looks at them. Yeah. Here's what I'll tell everybody, and, and I probably should have told you this before I let you ride it. If you don't want to buy one, don't ride it. See, that's the thing. Because now, once now, you ride it. Yeah, now I know I want one. Yeah. Yeah, once I you absolutely, ride it, yeah. it's it's like game over. Oh, yeah, it, it is, definitely. Uh, and it will turn on a dime. It, it definitely. So I, when I got to turn around to come back here, I turned it in a couple of cul-de-sacs just to kind of get the lean angle, you know, yeah, to yeah. kind of feel what it was like. And I was like, man, this thing's got more. Yeah. You know, it's got yeah. a lot more. A lot. So uh, I got to the entrance of the neighborhood. And uh, one of the, one of the fine sheriff's deputies yeah. had somebody pulled over right there, and I was like, "Well, I'm not going to show out in front of this guy." Yeah, yeah. So I turned down into the entrance of the basketball court, and I literally, I literally turned that motorcycle around in the space of a two car garage. Yeah, like pulling in the garage and then turning it and, and coming out the other side. Yes, it, it is amazingly nimble. And I thought at first, I thought as high up as I felt like I was sitting. I feel like I'm sitting high on it too. Right? You, you know, and I had my street glide lowered. Right. You know. Yeah, yeah. Your bike. How much I could turn. Yeah, your your bike set a lot lower. Your old bike set a lot lower than mine does. Yeah. Because yeah. I had it lowered an inch and a half. Yeah. I short legs. I'm not going to lower this one. I don't. I don't think you need to. No. It rides good. It rides really good. So. Yeah. So. That's our little catch up, right? I yeah. knew you had. I thought you hadn't seen it yet. I thought, well, maybe he saw it on Facebook. No, because I haven't been on Facebook very much the last okay. actually two weeks. Yeah, I haven't yeah. been on very much. Uh, you know, but everybody on Facebook's like, "Why'd you do this? What's going on?" Yeah. <laughs> wow. You want to hear something crazy? And is uh, there's a Facebook group called Middle Tennessee Harley Riders? I think you're a member. Yeah, I remember it. Um, you know, there's two admins in that group. Really? Mm-hmm. Who's the admin? Are you one of them? I'm one of them. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Get out. You sold out. <laughs> I mean, I've been an admin and member of that group since like it's in like 2008, right? Yeah. I, I know the guy who started the group. Like we, we work, worked together and rode together. And and he was like, hey, do you want to help be a moderator and an admin? I'm like, certainly. Well, now I, I think I probably have to give that up. No. <laughs> no. I'm not a Middle Tennessee Harley rider, right? Well, you ride with Harley riders. That's true. I mean, they try to keep up, but see, that's the thing. And and and, and here's the here's the bad thing about this, folks. I just finished upgrading my bike to a yeah. complete stage two. Yeah. Like intake, exhaust, all all, every yeah. bit of it. Yeah, yeah. Drive line, valve train, everything. I, I had stage two on my street glide. Yeah. 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 And in um Possum, my road captain, yeah, yeah. rides a M eight, a one oh seven. Yep. Uh and and my my ninety six, my big hunkin' oh eight ultra classic will walk away from that M eight. Yeah. But that thing won't hold a candle 
to that challenger. No, I mean, he won't even touch it. No. I got to buy a new motorcycle. <laughs> if I ever get to the point to put cams on it. See, on the Lloyd's tune, is it called the Lloyd's, Lloyd's tune? tune? Yeah. Yeah. They don't have a tune for the 2023 yet. They don't. Mm-mm. Oh. So, never mind. Let's get right. into this. All right. So, <laughs> because I'm about to spend a bunch of money. <laughs> uh, once again, sorry, uh, Rebecca. <laughs> I've got uh, to think now what I can sell to. Yeah, <laughs> today so we're we're still in parables, right? We got yeah. a long way to yeah, go. Yeah, a long way. Parables, and so today we're doing the uh, rich fool. Is that yeah, that? yeah, yeah. And we're going to do Luke twelve sixteen to twenty one. Sixteen twenty one. Yeah. You want to read it? Yeah, sure. Uh, so Luke twelve verses sixteen through twenty one from the ESV, and he told them a parable, saying, "The land of a rich man produced plentifully." And he thought to himself, what shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, fool, this night your soul is required of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So this is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Hmm. So when you think about that, you know, our whole lives, we work really hard, Mm -hmm. right? Yep. And we work hard to put money away, to have savings, to provide for our families, to have, you know, just in case there's a rainy day. Right, right. Right. The little nest egg. The little nest egg. Right. Right, so you can buy a new Indian. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. You got to go there. It just kind of came out. I, I apologize. I'll tell you a, a saving story later. But what what when you think about that, like our whole life, we're told, yeah, be prepared. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you have to, you know, it, it not all not only are we told, but we're kind of conditioned to that. Yeah. You know, um, you know, whether it be a J.G. Wentworth commercial, you know, yeah. or, or a Merrill Lynch or, 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 you know, we get bombarded with these things about how we're laying up our treasures on it. That's right. That's right. I mean, oh, are you maximizing your 401k? Right. right? Is your IRA, are you putting everything into your IRA? Yeah. You, you can know? put this much per year. Are you putting that much? Are right. You right. Making sure that you're not walking away from any money because, right. you know, whatever the company matches. And- mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when you think about that, what is this parable teaching? Well, there's a difference, I think. Let, let, let me back up. And don't, let, don't let me quantify that yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So I think what this parable is teaching versus what we, um, what we are conditioned with, right. number one, is the selfishness of what this this rich man has done right i think that there's a difference in the i've never been under the assumption belief or opinion that it's bad to have money i have never either now i will say this what you do with that money determines whether you're bad or not i would agree with that right so if if you're not using it to bless others. Yeah. Uh, and that may be at the time of your retirement. Yeah. That may be yeah, yeah, at yeah, the yeah. time of, you know what I'm saying? Well, we'll use, I, I know exactly what you're saying, right? The Bible nowhere says you can't have a good life. Right. 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 And so I think about like, okay, I just bought this new motorcycle. Right. Right. But my other motorcycle was a 2012. Mm-hmm. It needed work. Right. Right. The yeah. work you have just done to yours, mm-hmm. I really needed to do online. Yeah. Right. Cams and, you know, everything. Like I uh-huh. needed to go through the motor top to bottom. It was starting right. to smell. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, it was, it was like burning. Right. <laughs> it yeah. smelled like burning. it was on fire. Right. Yeah. Well, I because mean, that's what happens at about 50,000 miles. Right. Well, well, remember the time that we were riding and the gear shifter came. I, right. My whole gear shifter stripped out. Like right. I had to shift with my hand and burn myself all the way home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, like there was things that were that were falling apart. Right. And and the motorcycle is my tool to and minister. minister. Right. 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 It takes me where we need to go. It takes me just like yours takes you to these dark places, mm-hmm. 
right? Exactly. And so it's not like I'm like, ooh, taunting that I that I got this new motorcycle. It's like that's my tool. Right. Well, to me, maybe you were taunting I, a little bit. Well, I kind of was to you. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but, you know, the justification is like I'm not just doing it to do it. I'm not doing it to, to – Well, it's an investment in that ministry. That's right. Right. And, and it's not like you went out and go, the Lord said I need to audit. Indian no, no, Challenger. No. Yeah. And, and this is funny. I, 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 when we bought it, yeah. uh, you know, Linda was with me. And I said, this will probably be the last bike I ever buy. Yeah. She's like, hold on. She got her phone out, pressed record. Said, say that again. Said, <laughs> I got the video on. You are all witnesses. <laughs> I need you to say that again. Yeah. <laughs> and did I you, did. You did? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Because look, I'm 50. Yeah. This bike's going to go 50 or 100,000 miles. Right. Because as long as you maintain it, and of course I'm going to. Right. Right? Yeah. Uh, so it's going to go 50 or 100,000 miles. I, I don't need another one. Right? Yeah. And so that's going to be my ministry tool for the next 20 years. Yeah. And, and here, here's my thought. Of course, I'm 53. I'll be yeah. 54 in September. You know, and, and when I bought this bike that I have, you know, Four thirty a thirty, however many th- thirty four thousand miles ago. Yep. You know yep. whatever. Um, I looked at it at that point as the best return for what I could get in my investment at the time. Absolutely. Right. I mean, when I bought mine, it had two thousand miles on it. Right. Mine had eight, nine, something like that. Right. B- barely broke in. Right. Right. And I'm going to put 50 on it, and then I'm going to sell it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of where I'm, you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. But, you know, the, the thing that that I look at with something like that, you know, and at 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 our, <laughs> it's funny when we say at our, at our age. age. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't necessarily like to hear that. I don't either, because, you know, I used to think that 50 was like, old like i'm halfway to death right yeah <laughs> two-thirds <laughs> so but but what what i'm saying is the things that we use um in ministry and and the return that we get yeah. on that investment yeah now have have i gotten a return on this bike for the ministry that i use it for in thirty four thousand miles absolutely if one person came to Christ, that's my point right there. Right, it was all worth it. So, and so that's so where I'm going with this is that's how we are different. Like when you think about the rich fool, yeah, right, right. He's storing this stuff up for himself. Exactly. Right. Exactly. He's saying, "I'm going to put it in my. I'm going to build a brand new barn. Uh-huh. Instead of saying, I'm going to fill up the barn I have and all my extra, mm-hmm. I'm going to give to the community. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. He says, "I'm going to build a bigger barn." So that I can live fatter and happier. Right. So that I can enjoy more of the spoils of what I have used others to labor with. That's right. So to, uh, you, we're talking about if one person comes to Christ. Two weeks ago, I met at an event. And and at this event, uh, it was uh, it was a great event. It was, mm-hmm. it was great. Yeah. Had four different conversations with people about Christ. Yeah. You know, one person that we were talking with, we were talking about deliverance. Yeah. You know, other people we were talking about just daily living. You know, and another conversation that I had was ab- about salvation. Yeah. You know, now those are seeds that are planted. And and I'll have opportunity to circle back on some of those conversations. But the point is this. I made an investment four years ago in an MC culture to go have these conversations. Right. You know, I, now, the, actually, the investment started about 12 years ago. Yes, it did. But <laughs> four <laughs> years ago in a, in a real MC. Yeah. So anyway, the th- my, my, here's my thing. We, we, we don't do things selfishly or pull up somewhere and go, man, you won't believe what all I've got in my motorcycle. Right. I've got eighty-seven thousand dollars wrapped up in this bike. First of all, and why are you riding that? Why, why would you have that? Um, and I know, I've seen people who oh, do. Yeah. I, I know people yeah. who have a ton of money in their bike. Yeah, it won't make it any better. I, I saw one for sale on marketplace. 
Yeah. That was a 2010 or 11, I think, and they wanted like 48 grand for this thing. Ridiculous. But it, it's a trailer queen. Yeah. Yeah. I ride it. I don't watch I, it. That's my thing. I'm, I'm going to watch the new one. But my <laughs> old one, I, I didn't ever watch it. I, I usually, I just kind of wipe Bessie down. I, I got F11, so I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> Does that work pretty good? Yeah. Absolutely. I'll check it out. I'll Absolutely. Check it out. I got some stuff from Walmart. Anyway, getting off topic. So get back to the, the barns and the store, storing stuff up. So, yeah. So he's he's doing this all for himself. Right. Right. He used the the people who worked for him uh-huh. to labor, to build barns. Right. Right. He's right. the rich man. Right. The rich fool. The rich fool. Right. And, and at the end of the day, God, it could be over tomorrow. I mean, right. That last passage says... Um, you know, verse 21, this is how it will be with whoever stores up things from themselves, but is not rich towards God. Well, go back to verse 20. He, well, verse 20, that's where I yeah. should have started, right? He said, but God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. From you. Then you will get what you have prepared for yourself. And the thing, my, and ESV says, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? That's right. That's right. So it's like, you're dying tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like I, I, it, it's kind of like a joke. Well, that, you, like you can't take it with you. Th- that's that's what my point was. Right? There's the you know that the Cadillac joke. Is that what you're talking about? No, 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 no. Okay. The, the joke where um, uh, God comes to this guy and he says, "You're gonna die tonight." Yeah. And, and he's like, well, "What can I take with me?" He's like, "You can't take anything with you." And this guy's like, "Just let me look. Look. Just just let me bring." Just, just this Samsonite suitcase. Yeah. And whatever I can put in that Samsonite, let me bring that into heaven. The guy's like, okay, whatever. So the guy shows up, you know, he dies, shows up at the pearly gates, and there's St. Peter there and Gabriel, and, you know, God's there at the other side of the pearly gates. And, and Peter goes, what you got in that Samsonite there? He goes, let me show you. <laughs> and he flips it around, and he pops it open, and it says, Samsonite tourister suitcase full of gold. Mm. And Peter just starts laughing. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> and it, it offends the guy. And the guy goes, what are you laughing at? And he goes, that's paving material. Right, right. Paving Streets mater- of gold. Streets of gold, man. What is it that you can store up on earth that is so great that heaven won't exceed it by a thousand percent? Well, I mean, it says you'll have everything, right? Right. You you will need for nothing. But the selfishness that we get wrapped yeah. up in here yeah. on earth yeah. because of things that we try to hoard. Now, That's right. I'm I'm going back to my original statement of I'm not saying that money is bad and that we yeah, can't yeah, 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 save yeah. up some money for yeah. our retirement yeah. and our kids and things. Well, look, and I got that. life insurance, I got stuff, well, but yeah, like, yeah, look, yeah. I'm not I'm not keeping like I've told my kids like, look, I there ain't going to be nothing left. Oh, right. Like yeah. we're we're spending it not on us. Yeah. Right. But we're doing ministry. We're mm-hmm. we're doing the things that we need to do. Yeah. Don't expect a big nest egg. Well, and and the thing that I'm working for is just so that my kids won't have a whole bunch of debt. That's right. That's right. I don't want them to have any debt when I when I when you know. I'm and and that's what my my parents are the same way. You yeah. know, they've told me and my brother, you ain't gonna get a bunch of money, but you ain't gonna have any debt. Yeah. You know, and that's the cool thing. That's right. That's right. So you know, I, I'm I was raised in that same assumption of if you want something and you need something, I will give it to you if I have it. If not, I'll figure out a way to get it. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's just kind of that service mentality, that service mindset. Instead of I've got all this grain. Yeah. I need a bigger barn. Yeah. You know, I, I I'm not. I, I don't. I don't subscribe to that. I, yeah. I can't. I can't make myself understand that. Yeah, I can't. I can't either. I think there was a period in my life that I, I had that same mentality, right? I was very much of the world, you know. And I used to be like, it's the golden rule. Yeah. Whoever has the most gold makes the rules. Yeah. Right. Right. And you know that's my. You know everybody's heard me say it. That's BC for me, right? Right. Right. Or Christ. Yeah. But as I look back at that time. I don't have a bunch to show for that time. Well, and that's the thing. I don't right. either. You because know? I just squandered it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I did, it, you know, it's like it, this guy was like, oh, I'm going to put up my barn. But he was like, oh, I'm just going to eat, drink, and be merry. Mm-hmm. Well, that's going to run out too. Yes. 
right? Right. It doesn't matter how big of a barn you make. Exactly. It's going to run out. It's going to run out. Yep. And so it's going to go bad. Yep. Right? His barn maybe doubled in size. That stuff's going to go bad before he could eat it all. Sure. Right? Sure. So there, he's a fool for multiple reasons, right? Exactly. People could have starved. Right. While he could have been helping. And, and he could have been helping. Right. And then he just had to throw it away anyways. Right. Uh, it's and Rebecca kids me a lot. And, you know, we'll, we'll go out to eat and inevitably everywhere we go, she's got to get a doggy bag. Oh, I always, if we have food left. Yeah. And she'll bring it home. And I'm like, I'm bringing it home. And we eat, like Linda will make sure I eat it. Well, I, I eat a lot of the stuff that I bring home. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of the stuff that she does. You know, and I'm like, why are you bringing it home? She's like, they're starving kids in Arkansas. There are, but you ain't going to eat Are you that. sending it to Arkansas? <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. There are starving kids, and if you're going to send it to them, great. But. Right. <laughs> yeah, they, they may not like ACP without any onions, though. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so to, to get back into this this story, it, um, not knowing what our life expectancy that. I know what my life is expected. I don't know how long that That's expectancy right. is right. going to be. That's right. Right? So yeah. I know what I'm expected of in my life. Yeah. What I'm saying is not knowing uh, how long my life is going to last on this earth. Yeah. Why not go ahead and make the investment in other people in other ways in ministry and things so that I'm, I'm not worried about having to to – make amends for something yeah. or, 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 you know, when I'm standing before the judge, the ultimate judge and go, but God, I did a lot of good things. Yeah. But look, Rob, you stored up all this stuff for yourself. I don't want to be like that. Right. I, I don't want to hear that. I think, you know, I'm in a much different place today. I don't want to hear that either. Mm-hmm. You know, but there's probably some people listening, and, and I know there's a period of my life that I thought, you know, I do got a plan, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I oh, do yeah. got a plan for a rainy day. and Sure. And am I storing it up, or am I being prepared? I think there's a difference between storing it up and just taking a break. Absolutely. Right? And storing it and still continuing to walk that out, right? Right. Like, I'm still, like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm storing, but I'm also giving to the storehouse. Exactly. Right? Right. Right. And I'm trusting in God that if I if if I need it, he's going to be there. Sure. Right? And I don't think like for a long time in my life I wasn't there. And it's a even for Christians, I think even for some some, you know, very devout Christians, it's a fine line. Well, and, and a lot of things that we just don't get. Yeah. You know, because of our own uh, ambition and mentality. Yeah. You know, I, I have been in the IT world since 1987. Okay. You know, I've been doing this a minute. I'm 91. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and, and, and so of all the years that I've been doing this, you know, I've worked for secret service. Mm -hmm. Uh, I worked for the vice president of the United States. I installed all the Titans voice gear. Mm hmm. You know, I have these different feathers in my hat in my right. resume, right. right? I have I have all these things, um, you, you know, that I've accomplished that don't mean anything. That's crazy to it? anybody but me. Yeah. You know, I, I I have this certificate on the wall in my office. That, you know, the White House communication staff commends you for your excellent service and yada 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 yada. Signed, Fred Romanowski. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> right. Who really cares? Right, 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 right. You know, but you walk into a you walk into a restaurant. Somebody goes, "Hey, Batman, come here, man. Would would you pray with me right now?" Amen. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's like you're you're 100 percent right. Like you know, I I have this job and I'm in IT and I've been you know and people will say, "What do you do?" I'm in IT. Yeah. I don't need to tell them my title and. And the company that I work for, because at the end of the day, does it really matter? It doesn't to me. No. Now it does open some doors for me where I am. Um, in a doctor's situation or something like that. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and look, I, I work in pharmaceutical business, so yeah. like it would probably open doors for me too. And maybe if I'm depending on who I'm talking to. What did I work for Vanderbilt or the? Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a buddy. <laughs> right, right. Like I got this friend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I, I work for a pharmaceutical company. Right. Right. And so it'd be easy for me to say this is what I do, and maybe in some circles I, I have done that. Yeah. But it's been so long since I've cared about doing that. Yeah. That. I'm just like I'm in IT. Matter. Well, and and you know, situ- I know you're the same way because yeah. we've talked about this before. Right? Yeah, it's situational. It is. It's situational. Right? It is. You know, it is. I don't. I don't want to be that rich fool. I don't. You know, I really don't. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 no matter. I was talking with my dad yesterday, and my nephew just got. That's me. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. I was just looking at time. Uh, my nephew um, has got two college courses left before he graduates okay right but now these these two courses that he's got uh he can take them you know at, the, at a, kind of at his own pace yeah, yeah kind yeah. of thing so he went to work for the company that my brother is a regional manager for or something i don't anyway and the salary that this kid is getting you know he, Probably ridiculous. he's oh it is yeah. He's two classes away from a college education, you know, from a college degree. And it's, I, I'm thinking, good gracious, that's yeah. two thirds of what I make. <laughs> I, I, right, right. You know? I, I mean, look, I, my, I have a nephew uh, that is, I don't know, a hundred times smarter than me. Oh, yeah. Right? He's, oh, I don't know that he's a hundred, that my nephew is a hundred times smarter than me. <laughs> look, he's, he's 16. Yeah. Just turned 16. Uh huh. Just graduated with, um, just graduated high school, and his associate's degree. Great day. From a itinerous college, something, something, something. Right. Seriously, he's not eighteen, but he's getting offered like full rides at, I don't know, thirty different schools. Like, and he's 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 already got his associates. He's going to the University of Utah on a full ride to get a double master in mechanical engineering and civil engineering. Oh my goodness. Like, oh, he's six, my goodness, he's 16. Civil and mechanical? Yeah. <laughs> this kid's going to go. <laughs> like, wow. I said, like I said, 100 times smarter than me. <laughs> but he can, he have, like, wherever he wanted to go, he could have. Yeah. So I think his plan, I don't know for sure, but if I think his plan is two years at the U, and then he'll be 18, and he can go to MIT or wherever he wants to go. Go to MIT as an 18-year-old. Full ride. You know the only school that I got a full ride <laughs> offer from? No. The University of Puerto Rico School for the Deaf. Oh, that's nice. I'm just kidding about that. I didn't get a school. <laughs> you know? I didn't get a full ride off. I mean, but, you know. That's. I can't even imagine when he graduates college. Like, his, in, his, his internships, he'll probably make more than that. You see, and that, but here's the point. Good for him. Praise good, God. Good for him. Praise, praise God. God. Exactly. Exactly. But does that change the course of anything that I need to do? No, it does not. Does that change the course of any way that I need to minister? Not at all. Does that change the course of what the outcome of the world is today? Not at all. Not at all, because God's still in control. That's right. I still have to follow him and do what he says, That's right. and I still have to live the life that points everything that I am back to him. That's right. And if I can teach your nephew, my nephew, whoever, those three basic principles, yeah, then... I'm not building new barns. That's right. I mean, Revelation 1 8, right? I am the Alpha and the Omega, Omega. Sa- says the Lord God, mm-hmm. who is and who was, was and, and who is, is to, come. to come. Yep. Yes, right? sir. The Almighty. Yes, sir. The Almighty. Right? That's the, you know, before, I am God. No gods before, mm-hmm. no gods after. Won't be any other. There won't be any more. Yep. Right? That's yep. me. I'm the man. I'm the man. So none of that matters. Yeah. And just like I can't take anything with me. True. Right? True. So while I am going to enjoy my life. Yes. Right? Because the Bible wants you to be happy. Well, he wants you to have joy. Well, that, let's clarify that. Yeah, right? let's clarify that. Happiness yeah. is like, oh, I feel happy right now. Right. It's in the right? moment. Right. But right. joy is eternal. Correct. Right? So the Bible wants you to have joy. Mm-hmm. 
there's going to be a lot of unhappy moments. In that joy. In that joy. True. That's right. But don't be a fool, right? Mm -hmm. Can't take it with me. Nope. Share the love. Exactly. I think that's what it's about. Share the love. I think so. But but I think in sharing the love, it doesn't, uh, I think the limits on that, I, but let me backtrack. Hold on. Don't misquote me here, people. I think when we say share the love like that, though, it, it, it's time, talents, and treasure. That's right. And I think, you know, we had a conversation today, earlier today, uh, about our children when they were younger. Yeah. You know, and the regret that we had that we did not spend that kind of time with them at that time for That's them. Right. That's right. As a parent. As a parent, you know. Now, one of the things that I wanted to add in that conversation is I don't I don't really want my kids to think I'm a great parent because that means I'm being they're comparing me to somebody else. That's right. That's right. I just want them to see Christ in me at all times. Yeah. And I want them to see what I live for at all times and I don't want them to see me acting like a fool. Yeah. The way I agree 100%. The way I would say it is I do want my kids to see me as a great man because they see Christ in me. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. I because they see what I do, mm -hmm. because they see how I live my life. Yes. Not because of the parent I was. That you notice I said great man. Right. I didn't say great. Parent. Right. Great parent. Right. right. Yep. I want them to see that I'm a great man because of Christ mm -hmm. in me. Yep. Right. Because of how I represent Christ. Yep. Amen. Amen. And, you know, I, I wish I would have thought of that this morning. <laughs> So that's anybody like, who's listening that was on our men's, on our group, men's group, that's this what morning, I wanted. Yeah. I meant to say that. I, what I meant to say was, <laughs> what I said was, that's but right. what was in my mind that's was. Right. That's right. That was what was in my mind. We're trying to get everybody break. back on yeah. the Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, I got to say something. Uh, hold on to me, call. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a good one. How, gl how, yeah. would, you, uh, how would you land it? How would you well, I, I think I would encourage everyone to remember um, – First of all, uh, what we live for is not our own. That's right. What we live for is the glory of God. Yeah. That's what we were created for. Yep. That's what we live for. Yeah. And that's what we should strive for. Amen to that. So uh, remember that, that um, as, as, you're, as you're navigating through the Scripture, yeah. as you're looking at and comparing this scripture to what your life is, yeah. Remember those things. Yeah. Amen. And and don't don't let selfish ambition get in the way of what God's called you to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How would you end it? I would say um don't allow the world to convince you that it's okay to keep it all. Hmm. Don't allow the world yeah. to convince you that it's okay to see that homeless guy on the street and ignore him. Because mm -hmm. we see it every day. Every day. Right? Yeah. Don't That homeless guy may be you someday. Or you may have been him. Or you may have been him. Right. Right. Don't allow the world to dictate what you do with your riches mm -hmm. because you want to keep up with the Jones. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I get that. I, right? And I, I, I lived agree in that for that. a lot of times I, I, before yes. I was, before, you know, BC. Yeah. Oh, you got a new, I need a new boat. Yeah. You got a bigger house? I need a bigger house. Yeah. You got a BMW, I need a Mercedes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I, you know? or, yeah. You got new furniture? Well, guess what? I bought yeah. mine at this place. I, that's right. Mine's leather. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Don't let the world, don't let the flesh convince you yeah. to go against what the Spirit is telling you. Mm -hmm. That's how I would end it, probably. I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right, everybody. It's Rick and Rob with the Nomad Pastor Podcast. Remember, we're on every platform of choice. You can watch us on YouTube. You can subscribe. You can give us a like. You can 
Share it with your friends. Mm-hmm. You can send us an email at hello at nomadpastor.org. We don't get them very often, but if we do, we'll go through them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, we, get, uh, we get more requests of people tapping us on the shoulder when we're out. I, I get Facebook Messenger yeah. or tap on the shoulder is the biggest one, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, just recognize that we're here if you need help, right? Yeah, please. You need us to pray for you. Yeah. We're here. You need, if you're struggling with a church and you want to find one in your area, yeah. we'll help you. We'll help you. We'll do some we'll research. Definitely. On, right? yeah. We'll make sure that they're a good, godly, Theological church, yeah, right. That are, yeah. that's Bible based. Bible based, not just not right? just idea based. That's right. That's right. And the last thing I'd say is remember to love God and love people. 